Hi everyone, my name is Baron. I've been going to Holy Family for as long as I can remember, and I was very thankful when I realized I was able to give this talk. Now, what is faith? Some people believe that it is believing something with no evidence or proof. Others believe that it is just a feeling about something. But what I believe it is, is believing in something because the accounts are verifiable. Just like you have faith that your friend will pay you back that money that they borrowed. My whole family has been a huge inspiration through my faith journey. My Nana especially. She's my godparent, so she feels it extra important to set me on the right path. My Nana has always pushed me to be the holiest person I could be. I would go to church, I went through baptism, reconciliation, first communion, and confirmation. And I know I was Catholic, but I didn't believe it. My Nana saw me as this holy person who always attended church, but it wasn't true. I felt like I was lying to her. I felt bad that the person that she tried so hard to be the holiest person uh, that I could be was having doubts. It was hard for me for whatever reason. I had all the outside help I could have, yet I didn't feel close to God. I felt terrible for it. Seeing my brothers go through their faith journey, I felt left behind. They seemed like saints compared to me. I was only ever really talking to God during church on the off chance I did go. My brothers saw me as, these holy, as this holy person as well. Well, not as bad as my Nana, they believed that I believed. I just went along with whatever they were doing, whether that be going to church or participating during PSR. I felt something was lacking because I never had this life-changing, eye-opening experience before. Having this constant underlying feeling since I was little, it snowballed over time until I finally went over the edge during the pandemic. I was at an all-time low in faith. Seeing my life get worse and worse around me, it put me in a terrible environment for God, and I felt it was spreading into what I thought was my holy image. I could tell that my brother saw me as becoming less and less enthusiastic when it came to being Catholic. I was in such a bad environment that it was getting worse it was getting worse by the day that I started to question God's existence. During one Cheyenne, or senior high youth night, Cheyenne, Cheyenne, get a <laughs> Anyway, during one Cheyenne, I started to spiral on my own thoughts. I was having doubts in my faith, and I started asking questions like, why can't God make that chair over there move? Or why can't he flip that table over? Why can't he just show himself? I just want a definite sign. Well, little did I know, my youth pastor Rob was talking about John 2.13. And for those unfamiliar, in this story, Jesus st storms a temple because they are selling doves for sacrifice for money. In true Rob fashion, he recreates this scene by flipping over a table. This was the sign I wanted, but I didn't even realize until later that it wasn't even a definite sign. It was just to show me that God is there with me. Doubting Thomas is something that I, is that a lot of people, including me, can relate to. It's a mindset that most of us have had at one point or another, the very common seeing is believing mindset. But why are you supposed to trust God? What does he do for you? Trusting God is peace of mind. Knowing that someone is there for you at all times can be very comforting and something that everybody needs. A quote that I found recently, I think sums this up. Uh, if one does too much, they will get dependent. If one does too little, they will lose hope. If you do things right, people won't be sure you've done anything at all. That quote, surprisingly enough, is from Futurama, after Bender tries to become God. Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. God works in mysterious ways. But God has a path for each and every one of us. Faith is a journey, and this journey will not be a clear-cut road. There will be detours, and some people need to sit down every once in a while. But God will be there when you are ready to march forward. I hope you can see that not everybody needs a big life-changing moment to get you believe. The small things that push us to the next moment is all you need. Even if you just start by just praying once a day and you slowly work up, maybe start going to church again, it's the little things that count. Thank you.